Okay, so I haven't been able to use my lathe very much this week. I haven't used it at all this week. It's still sitting there pretty much the way I left it last week and everything in this shop is a sawdust mess. I had uh, two cedar products that I had to get turned out and sent up to Alaska this week. So yeah, the shop was actually, you know, working for money, which is a kind of a good thing now and then. Um, yeah, I got to get a project out. It's Sunday, uh, it's Super Bowl Sunday, almost the almost time to go for the game. So I don't have a lot of time. I got I got filming, editing, production, blah blah blah. All you YouTubers know about that stuff. Anyway, I got to find something to turn. This might be interesting. Something I was experimenting with. A piece of yellow cedar. This is a, a two half piece that I'm going to do something with at some point, but not today. This is not that one. And that's just kind of a, it was a project experimental, but it's just a tray now. And someday I'll finish this bowl. It's kind of a pretty little thing. I don't know why it isn't finished. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. Um, lighthouse, little lighthouse thing. That might be kind of fun to finish. But not today. It's not the one. What are we going to do? I need something. I need something simple but elegant. Oh, look at there. What's this? Is this a piece of curly maple in the firebox? How did that get there? Well, I think this is going to be our project. Anyway. That, we're going to call that a decision, and that's going to be our project for the week. Let's get started. All right, here's what we got. It's a piece of uh, maple, fresh out of the firewood pile. I haven't done this in a long time. I, it's, it's, this is going to be a spindle turn. Um, had a crack right there, so I filled that full of CA glue before we even get started, hoping it'll stabilize that, keep it stabilized. Uh, my plan is to put a uh, um, tenon on this end so I can chuck it up into the lathe that way and then um, we'll turn our little box out of this end and, and uh, see what it comes to. I'm interested to see what this little piece of area right here is going to turn into. It'll be interesting. Maybe. Maybe it won't. We'll find out. Let's, let's, get a, let's take a shot at it. I guess I'll do it this way. Pretty good. I'm gonna make my tenon and then I'll be turning it around. So I usually when these if if it's gonna if I'm gonna do a full turn on it, I'll drill a hole so that it seats into that hole and helps it not to wangle around if things get out of track. Anyway, here we go. Some kind of cool stuff going on there. 
got some tearing out because of some not so good wood right there. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty cool. Let me, uh, let's go ahead and figure out a, a dovetail. Heck. Let's see, we're gonna make it up. Oh, four inches tall. Four. I come down. Not inch and inch and four. That's like gonna go right there. I like it. This is gonna be the top. It's gonna be the, the container. So let's see. Let's see if we can figure it out right off the bat. Okay, we got half a battery left on there. Good morning. It's work time. Slow going. Had to run to the post office this morning and uh, get some stuff off in the mail. Got scheduled to do another project tomorrow early in the morning. So, there we got the... Uh, <clears throat> this is going to be the bottom part. This is going to be the top part, and we're going to drill us a hole in there. We've got to figure out what size hole to make it. That just makes it easier for the drill bit to find its, find its own home. Turn that off. Put in part of my reach around here. All right, so this is a thing that I made to replace that pointy end. It uh, it's great for filling up spaces like this and kind of doubly stabilizing this. Uh, it uh, it's threaded. So it fits over my regular tail stock there, or live center. And it also will, has a um, tenon on it that I can put it in the chuck if I want. And then it has all kinds of adaptations that go here in the end of it. I'll show you more on that some other time. But here's, uh, here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna slide this in here. Oh yeah, I don't know what this wood is, but I can tell you it's really, really hard. So I'm just gonna slide it in there until it's just touching and uh, we'll give that a, a spin just to see what it looks like looks pretty stable to me okay so I'm gonna shut that back down and we're gonna put a uh, I'm gonna make a little mark right there and that's gonna be where this tenon comes down to meet the inside of this lid we drilled this hole bigger so that it would fit it'll have a lip that sticks up about a half an inch anyway here we go I'm just going to use this.
Everything's dull. I have to go sharpen up. So we should see where we're at, huh? So that way to go. We're just gonna sneak up on it. I know we're not there yet, but if we just sneak up on it, we'll be much better than if we don't sneak up on it. So we're getting pretty darn close right there. And we're gonna tape around the end of that. Closer. Ooh, we're really close now. Look at that. We're down near there. I think that's close enough. Just a little fuzzy of sanding, and then we're gonna join these pieces up and uh, sand, 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 part it, paint it, whatever. We might do a little embellishment on this. Too. Let's see if we can get our grains to line up here. That looks pretty close. Yeah, I think so. So they're not gonna line up perfectly because they're not gonna line up perfectly. And that's all there is to it. So let's just go ahead. Oh. Oh. Did I get it all in there? 
Nope, that's more to get out of there yet. I'm doing that with the wrong tool, obviously. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna put some Yorkshire grit on this just to kind of grind her down. And there it goes. Boy, that looks good on there, doesn't it? Oh, you can see what that's gonna do. A little bit more. There we go. Rub it in good and tight. Put some. Speed her up for a little bit. Okay, off of that. Oh, that looks good. And we're going to use some doctor's wood shop here. I'm going to just smear that on generously. And I changed from a uh, real absorbent uh, terry cloth or uh, what I don't know what you call it um, I'm gonna put this on here real liberally and let that settle in there a little bit Ooh, there's that curly maple doing its curly maple thing didn't get very much curly out of it though did we oh well oh well it's fine it's a form follows function piece Um, there we go. It's a form follows function piece. Not a piece that's going to be, you know, it's going to probably ride around and, well, I'll show you when we get done. I'm not going to tell you it's over there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to get another, another cloth and fuck out a little more. And there you have it. That's our piece. Let's get her parted and then we'll do a presentation. Okay, here we go. Oops, maybe we'll put it in forward. So we're turning about 1400 RPM. And
There we have it. Three. Okay, well here you have it, fresh off the firewood pile. That was a, a handy, neat little box. Uh, it, it, it's firmly, it closes firmly, so you could put it in a travel case and it wouldn't fall apart, wouldn't fall off on you. And uh, it's fairly stout. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of a handy little piece to have, especially for traveling maybe. Put it in your console or your car for whatever and um, you know, maybe, Hide a matchstick in there, or I don't know, whatever you think. Whatever you would use anything like this for. Only the imagination is your limitation. So, um, that's going to be it for this week. Um, proper use of firewood. Um, yeah. If you liked the video, uh, would you please, you could go and hit that like button. That would help me out a bunch. Uh, or if you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. And uh, as always... Thanks to the subscribers. Um, I appreciate you. I'm, uh, I'm happy to make these videos for you. Um, yeah, see you next week.